In this tutorial video, you will learn how to delete and recover content from your SharePoint site, as well as how to empty your recycle bin in order to free up valuable space. Let's try deleting a document from our document library. First, navigate to your library. In my case, it is called Shared Documents. From here, we can select the document we would like to delete by either selecting the check mark to the left of the document, or by simply selecting the three dots to the right of the document. Select the three dots again to open the menu and select Delete. Select OK. We have successfully deleted this document and now to recover this document you will need to navigate to your recycle bin. To find your recycle bin you must first click your settings gear in the top right corner of your site. You must then select Site Contents from this menu. Once you're in your site contents, you will see your recycle bin in the top right corner. Click Recycle Bin. You will see the document that we have just deleted. Select the box to the left of the document that we want to recover. Lastly, click Restore Selection and click OK. If we navigate back to our document library, we will see that the document has been successfully restored. Next, let's look at emptying our recycle bin. It's important to empty your recycle bin when it's getting full because it frees up valuable space and prevents potential errors from occurring. Navigate to your recycle bin again through your site contents. Check the box to the left of the type column to select all documents in your recycle bin. Then click Delete Selection. Clicking OK will permanently delete all selected documents. This has now emptied your recycle bin, and these documents are permanently deleted. In addition to deleting and recovering documents, you can also do the same with web parts. For example, let's delete our calendar web part and recover it from the recycle bin. First, navigate to the site contents. Select the web part by clicking three dots. Click Remove, and click OK. Our web part has now been deleted. To recover this web part, simply go to the recycle bin, Select the calendar or web part and select Restore Selection. Click OK. If we go back to our site contents, we will see that the calendar has been successfully restored. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. For more videos like these, please go to the Corporate Intranet YouTube channel.